It's a sun-kissed morning here in Bhubaneswar. Truly wonderful, warm, sunny affair. I'm Siddharth Pandey. I'm coming to you live from the Kalinga Stadium here in Bhubaneswar, Odisha. A very good morning to all our viewers in India. And a very warm welcome to all our viewers tuning in from around the globe. Yesterday evening, we brought you live the semi-finals of the first Hockey India Sub-Junior Women Academy National Championship 2021. We continue our live coverage, bringing you the first semi-final of the first Hockey India Junior Women Academy National Championship 2021. Today morning, it is uh, Odisha Nawaltata Hockey High Performance Center, the home team, the informed team, who will be taking on those on your screen right now. In orange, it will be the Sai Academy, and in blue, to the right of your screen, will be the Odisha Nawaltata Hockey High Performance Center. Both the teams have been unbeaten so far in the tournament. And many see this as the precursor to the final, or as they often say in sport, the final before the final. Waiting for pushback now. And that girl on your screen, number four to the left, Kamla Singh, has been in superb form for Odisha Nawaltata Hockey Academy. She's been their top scorer and a lot will depend on her. Also watch out for Neha Lakra. Will be wearing number 33 who has contributed not just in field goals but also in penalty corners. For Sai Academy, well, the sub-juniors yesterday had to do it the hard way. They went to a penalty shootout and finally, they vanquished Madhya Pradesh Hockey Academy. They were trailing twice and had to come back twice. Had to really, really dig deep. And my feeling is that they will have to be doing that today as well against the home team. So we are in the business end of the tournament here. And as I said, it's a warm morning. So it will be a test of fitness as the sun keeps rising along with the temperature here. Sai Academy looking to put on some early pressure on the horse. What a cross field pass, but uh, slightly inaccurate. And that is uh, the captain of the team, Jyoti Chhatri, playing in the back line. Number four, Kamla Singh, we've already alluded to her. She will be instrumental today if Odisha Nawaltata Hockey High Performance Center are to get a result. This is good early pressure here from Sai Academy. Not been able to capitalize. Jyoti now with the ball. Spreads it wide, keeping the ball. It did catch a foot, but the umpire has played on because for five meters there was no opponent. So, slight bit of nerves here. And... Uh, that is fairly obvious. The first real attack from Odisha Nawaltata Hockey Academy, but uh, the cross was mistimed and mishit. Winning back possession now. Center of the pitch. It's come out wide here. It's Lakshmi plays it down the line. Can they keep it in play? No. They've just not settled here. And... Uh, of course, these are very, very early exchanges. There's a lot of time to go. The match has just started. Captain of uh, Sai, Anjana Dung Dung, receives the ball again. This is Anjana. Can she play it forward? Well tackled there. It's a raised ball. Early mistakes from both the teams. These kind of high-pressure games, it is extremely important to strike first, get the first goal. It becomes also very important. Make the other team chase. And that is something Sai did not do yesterday against Madhya Pradesh Hockey Academy. They really did spring a surprise on everyone watching. Sai were clear favorites. Madhya Pradesh Hockey Academy really made them dig deep yesterday. Will Odisha Nawaltata Hockey High Performance Center do the same? This is a good attack by Sai. They are coming in front. First circle entry. Will it be our first goal? Would you believe it? It is not to be. 
What a chance there for Sai Academy. And uh, Prakhar Patel, the coach, will have that down in his notebook and later on when he sees the game, will hardly believe that they have missed that early opportunity. They have not settled here. Odisha Naval Tata Hockey High Performance Center. They need to get their defense in order. They just need to keep the ball for some time just to calm the nerves, just to get that early touch for every player, just to get a feel of the turf. Not that they are playing in alien conditions. They are the home team. But uh, early, early warning. Lakshmi tries to play it down the line. They don't need to do this. Uh, they're just losing the ball rather easily. Losing possession all the time. Sakshi Shukla looking at options. Just has one on the right flank for them. This is good tackling. Good crowding out but they have kept the ball well. Sai Academy. This is a good opportunity for Odisha to just take their time, take a breath, keep the ball, keep possession. It's a forward press by Sai Academy. It's a very advanced press and there's another mistake and this is by the captain herself. It's a penalty corner. You just felt it was coming and... Uh, the first penalty corner of the game goes in favour of Sai Academy. What a chance for them. What a chance for their forward line. What a chance for their attacking prowess to get that goal. Pooja Yadav has got a goal from penalty corners for Sai Academy. Their captain Anjana Dung Dung is up there. They are going with two batteries. Here comes the injection. It has gone to Anjana Dung Dung. It is a variation. It's a good variation. It's a goal! Sai have struck early here. You just felt as if it was coming. And Odisha Naval Tata Hockey Academy have it all to do. For me, they just need to get composed here. They just haven't got going. And uh, Sai, well, they're piling on the pressure. Here comes another attack almost immediately. Down the left flank, trying, looking for another circle penetration. They could get one here. Not being able to clear their line successfully. It is in moments like these that uh, the captain needs to step up. Just take the, this. This is something that Madhya Pradesh Hockey Academy yesterday did very, very impressively. Every time they thought the pressure is on, they just took those few seconds in every foul just to get composed, just to eat up the clock, just to take the wind out of the sails of the opponent's attack. And uh, maybe Nurisha Naval Tata Hockey High Performance Center needs to take a leaf out of that book. A mistake here in the defense by Sai Academy. Lakshmi now on the left plays it down for number four. Kamla Singh. Kamla Singh looking for a teammate. Doesn't get it. They have not got their combinations going. Looking to recycle the ball is Mamita Oram. This is much, much better. This is what they need to be doing. Just need to keep the ball for a little bit. They don't need to play a forward pass. They don't need to make these forward runs. Will we see the first card of the game? Just a warning. That's good to see. Keeping the ball in midfield. Yeah, this is what they need to do. That's a good turn in midfield but uh, the ball has been given away. Sai Academy have done very well to pack their defense with players. It is a defensive overload. Lakshmi now looking to get that ball and doesn't get it. We'll have to do a restart. This is Mamta Oram. Mamita Oram plays it right back to number 30. Captain Jyoti Chhatri 
and it's come back on the left here to Lakshmi. Not able to receive that ball. They've uh, just not quite been up to it. You wonder whether it's nerves, whether it's the pressure of being the home team, the expectations being so high. Whatever it is, it's not been a very good first quarter for them. Not a single circle entry. We're almost halfway through. Sai Academy, on the other hand, have started very, very brightly. They've got a penalty corner. They scored from that. They've got a field goal. They've been reverse tackling well. Foul has been called. And... Uh, Hina Bano was uh, shielding the ball well. Sakshi Shukla looking for a forward pass, was looking for Hina Bano, does not find her. Because there's so much time still remaining in this game. Odisha, Navaltata, Hockey Academy just need to make sure that they don't concede another. That will be costly. And they have made another error in defense. Get away with it this time. Looking to play the ball out of defense. Lakshmi now. Another error. Sai Academy are all over Odisha Navaltata Hockey Academy right now. They are dominating proceedings. And uh, they are dominating the midfield. Which is why they are not being quite able to keep the ball. Hinabano looking to make inroads for Sai Academy. It's come out to the right. Sakshi Shukla, who's been very effective this morning for Sai Academy. It's got a foot and a reprieve there for Odisha Navaltata Hockey High Performance Center. It's their midfielders that really need to step up. Jyoti Chhatri plays it to the left. This is what Sai Academy have done so well. They have crowded them out in defense. It's been a high-pressure tactic from them. Lakshmi now looking to play it forward, but uh, not a lot of options. Kamla Singh, twisting and turning, gets away, will get a foul. Makes a way into the D, Kamla Singh. It's uh, players like her, Neha Lakra, that uh, need the service to get those goals. They've been in a rich vein of form. So Kamla Singh makes a foul, keeps the ball. For the first time, there is some sort of pressure being exerted on Sai Academy by Odisha Navaltata Hockey Academy. Will that pressure be sustained? No, it will not be. It's a stick obstruction by Mamita Oram. Looking to play it forward is Anjana Dung Dung. Looking at options here. Doesn't have any. They've kept the ball well. It's played down the line really, really well. This is a good attack building here. Prini Kandir has uh, lost out to Jyoti Chatri, who's been the best player so far for the Odisha Navaldata Hockey Academy. She has lost out and this could be a costly error. What a better pass. Should have been a better pass. She realizes that straight away and the player of the caliber of Pooja Yadav, you expect a more measured, a better pass. They've done better though and uh, Jyoti Chhatri has decided to get into a more advanced role, get her team going, which is I think a very good tactic because they need a little bit of leadership here. Just over four minutes to go in the first quarter. And Sai Academy have clearly dominated proceedings. It's good to see Odisha Navaltata Hockey Academy now finally coming back into the game. They've been second best so far, but uh, they're looking to change that. Good tackle coming in from Puna Mundu. Kept it in play. Puna Mundu, that's come in. Puja Yadav, Puja Yadav looking for forward options, doesn't find any. Has that gone out of play? Yes, it has. This is the moment now, Odisha Navaltata, Hockey High Performance Center needs to put as much pressure as possible, probably extract something from this first quarter. A circle entry, a penalty corner, maybe an equalizer, that would really get things going for them. It's not to be, as of now, Puja Yadav looking for options, doesn't have any, but has uh, intelligently drawn the foul. Sai Academy now.
Jyoti Chhatri coming with serious enterprise at Sai Academy, but this is the problem. They have been losing the ball in midfield far too often. In this instance, though, Jyoti has won it back. But uh, it's a faulty back pass. This could be a costly error. It's come to Bhavani Matgula. Bhavani just could not find uh, her player. For all their pressure, it has been only one goal and only one penalty corner. Sai Academy will look to improve that. They have uh, made some exciting forays into the Orisha final third. They've not been quite made them pay. Sakshi Shukla looking to play a cross field pass, but uh, it's a silly error. Just need to see this quarter out without further damage. Orisha, okay, high performance center. That is crucial. That is the crucial bit. It's well cut out by Anjana Dung Dung. And a uh, minute and a half to go. Will Odisha Nawal Tata Hockey Academy create something? The ball's in the circle, but uh, the whistle has been blown. It's been a short defending here by Sai Academy. They don't look worried when they have to defend. They look quite assured, and that has been the story in the first quarter so far. Oh, what a run this is on the left flank. Very, very enterprising run, but uh, the final pass there by Prini Kandir was uh, not quite good enough. But a very good run by Prini Kandir. What a chance this is for Odisha Nawal Tata. Hockey Academy, they've got a foul. They're looking to finish the quarter strongly. Under a minute to go. It's still not done. And finally, a miss hit. Just did not get the connection on the Tomahawk. Tanu Kishan. It was... Uh, I haven't seen a lot of her in the first quarter. Tanu Kishan looking to win the ball back, get into the structure. Defensive structure, that is. And uh, they've won the ball back. Tanu Kishan. They need to get the ball in here. Less than 10 seconds to go. They need to hurry up. That is what I'm talking about. The defending has been cool. It has been calm. And uh, that is the end of the first quarter. With the only penalty corner that has been created, Sai Academy have scored from that. And at the end of the first quarter, they are leading Orisha Nawaltata Hockey High Performance Center by a goal to nil. Explore this ethnic hinterland. It's a wonderland. Visit Orissa. India's best kept secret. Relive Urasa's Buddhist legacy at the Diamond Triangle. Marvel at Ratnagiri's glory reflected in stone. Explore Udaygiri's enigmatic landscape. Feel meditative amid the majestic ruins of Lalitgiri. Embark on your spiritual sojourn. Visit Urasa. India's best kept secret. Welcome to Utkal, the land of artistic excellence. Marvel at the craftsmanship of self filigree work. Dive into the colors of Pipili's oblique work and Raghurajpur's Ottachitra paintings. Appreciate the variegated Sambalpuri Ekkath handlooms. Take home a bit of Orissa. India's best kept secret. Urissa is endowed with the best of Mother Nature's bounties. Meditate with the... Very, welcome, very warm welcome back. We are just about to get into the second quarter. The first quarter has belonged to Sai Academy without a shadow of a doubt. Nobody needed the quarter break more than the Odisha Nawaltata Hockey High Performance Center. They just 
have not gotten going well maybe and it feels like it is the nerves abhishek mishra i'm sure has uh, conveyed that to the players expectations are very high from them but uh, they just need to play their game we know how good they can be they just need to calm down get their game going towards the end of the first quarter it was a sort of a comeback they were getting those attacking combinations going especially down this left hand side with lakshmi playing on the left of midfield but apart from that sai academy have pressed well they've kept the ball well their combinations have been better they've created a penalty corner and they were the team that looked to be in form and dangerous most importantly they were assured in defense that is uh, so so important here is uh, nodisha hockey academy coming forward with their dangerous player neha lakra the first proper circle entry of the match has come in the second quarter for odisha navaltada hockey academy this is a much much better start by them jyoti spreads it wide this is again something they have not quite been able to do in the first quarter sustained pressure pressure that counts pressure that makes it very very difficult for the opponents not to make a mistake they are being cheered on by their teammates and by their awards here odisha naval tata hockey academy remember this is their home ground this is where they train this is where they live they know the conditions better than any other team in the tournament but uh, i think it is uh, nerves more than every, anything else that has uh, sort of held them back you do hope they outgrow them and are back in this game for good it's a positive start at the start of the second quarter it's a much more advanced press as well it's a circle entry can they force an error the defending from sai academy really has been very very good need to receive that ball first and then look to do something with it prini kandir has been one of the effective players for sai academy mamita oram plays it back they've gone right back they don't mind this this is good play by odisha trying to keep the ball it's never a bad option they had been playing unnecessary forward passes in the first quarter which cost them dearly winning the ball back in midfield that's well done here's a chance can they make something off it just couldn't control it neha lakra two circle penetrations already in the second quarter for risha nawal dada hockey high performance center and uh, that is much much better already from what they were in the first quarter here's a chance for sai academy it's a proper chance and it is a goal Sai Academy have created their second chance and they've got their second goal it is Poonam Mundu who's got the second goal it was Odisha Naval Tata Hockey High Performance Center that did all the attacking and that did all the play here in the second quarter but with their first attack with their first foray into the defense it is Sai Academy that have got the goal and they have doubled their lead so very very efficient here prakar patel will be extremely pleased by the way his team have approached this game so far it's been a professional display by them on the ball now sujata kujur sujata looking for options finds one it's a circle penetration this could be dangerous but uh, that is well kept out by suneli oram in goal for odisha naval tata hockey academy they have lost the ball in midfield consistently jyoti jyoti chatri looking for options plays it out wide here it's lakshmi now looking for options giving sai another opportunity to rebuild 
slowing the pace of the game a little bit, Sai. As I said, it's been a very professional display from them. And uh, another circle entry. This could be dangerous. It is right in front of goal and it is a goal. Right now, Orisha, Nawal Tata, Hockey Academy are their own worst enemies. Defensive lapse has cost them there. They just need to go into a huddle here. And uh, Abhishek Mishra, the coach of the Odisha Naval Dada Hockey High Performance Center, just needs to probably send somebody from the bench with a very clear message. And the message has to be, girls, calm down. Let's get our game in order. We know how good we are. This is our home conditions. There's nothing to be worried about. There's the entire match still to go. Two full quarters even after this remaining. We can pull this back. Let's get our game going. As it stands, Sai Academy have a sizable lead. It is not an unassailable lead so far, but it is a sizable lead. It is 3-0 with just about one and a half quarters gone. We are in the second quarter and Sai Academy will be very, very pleased with what they've been able to achieve so far. Defensive lapses continue for Odisha. This could be dangerous once again. It's cut out well. Jyoti has been the best player on the pitch for Odisha Nawal Tata Hockey High Performance Center. It is she who has provided all the attacking impetus. But she's having to do it from midfield because uh, those around her have not quite been able to step up and support her as she would have liked. The likes of Neha Lakra, the likes of Kamla Singh. We have yet to see them be effective in this match. For Sai Academy though, their midfield and their forward line have been very, very dangerous every time they get the ball, just like this. But it's uh, been well cut out this time. Sahi Academy have been able to do so well is they've just not allowed Odisha Naval Tata Hockey Academy to breathe in midfield. Not given them any time on the ball. Here's an opportunity for Odisha. This is a circle entry. This is promising, but again, well defended by Sai. They have not conceded a penalty corner. And now Anjana Dung Dung is looking for a forward pass. Let's come back to Anjana. Anjana looking to clear her lines. She's done it so well. It's clearly caught a foot. And Sujata Kujur could not trap that cleanly. Nikita Topo looking for options. She's got the game going early. It's come in. Still a circle entry, but uh, nothing comes off it. Somebody needs to give the girls belief in the Odisha Naval Tata Hockey High Performance Center that the game's not done. It's not done and dusted. You get a goal, you never know. You're suddenly just two goals behind. The momentum is with you. You've got wind in your sails and everything seems achievable, but they'll they lack that spark right now. They lack that. They need that moment of inspiration that will make them believe that they can do this. Sai taking their time. There's no rush. Sakshi Shukla plays a forward pass. Doesn't find anyone. Nodisha can rebuild. But I like the way Sai have forward pressed. They've put the back line and the defenders of uh, Odisha under pressure. They've made them pay with uh, costly defensive errors. Especially the third goal came off a defensive lapse. Taking their time. That's a good hit forward. And it has found a Sai Academy player. Combinations in midfield have been terrific. It's Jyoti once again. The problem is, whenever she gets the ball, it, she has to run with it because the options in and around her are not quite good enough. Jyoti now, looking for a forward pass, finds it in the form of uh, Mary, but the uh, pass hasn't quite come and uh, Sai Academy are rebuilding. 
Got a lot of space up ahead of her hands in number 12, Jyoti Edula. Such a risky pass by the captain, Jyoti Chhatri. Luckily for her, it's gone out of play. It's not become a defensive lapse like we've seen a few of them from Odisha Navaltata Hockey Academy. The thing is, they started the second quarter really, really brightly. It was them who were doing all the attacking. They made the defensive uh, errors though and that has cost them and cost them dearly. Second goal by Poonam Mundu, the third goal a defensive lapse. Here's another circle entry. This could be dangerous once again. But uh, it's still in play. It's not quite gone out. And finally, they clear their lines. Suneli so Oram has had a lot to do here for Odisha Nawaltata Hockey Academy in goal. She's had to really get her A game on for the Sai Academy forwards have troubled her incessantly. They did have a very advanced player, but uh, could not be received by number 16, Tanu Kishan. Not seen a lot of her this morning, as we've not seen a lot of attacking intent from the Odisha team. No such problems for Sai though. They've got their attacking game going so well. Look at those combinations in midfield by them. Jyoti Chhatri looking at options, just about keeps that in play. Needs to keep the game going, needs to keep the ball rotating. Doesn't need to play these risky passes. They need to be shorter, crisper. They need to keep the ball rotating. Anyhow, it's a circle entry. It's a penalty corner. Can they get a goal back? It's three and a half minutes to go. And uh, we cannot stress this enough. Odisha Nawaltata Hockey Academy, if they have to stage a rebound, it starts now. They need to convert this penalty corner right away. Golden opportunity for Abhishek Mishra's team. What can they do? They've taken their time, they've planned well, and uh, they've got a double battery going. Neha Lakra, Kamla Singh have been excellent, but the injection was anything but excellent. It's still on, but it's got a back stick. They've just not quite got going. You just get the feeling as if uh, the girls have been under a lot of pressure, a lot of stress, and they just need a talking down to. They just need someone to talk to them, tell them, their expectations are high, but you don't need to worry. Play your game. We know how good they are. They've been unbeaten in the tournament so far. They've scored a bucket load of goals. They've got players like Neha Lakra, Kamla Singh, their captain Jyoti Chhatri, who can be the difference makers. But apart from Jyoti, nobody else has really had quite an effect on the game so far. In Sai Academy, uh, three goals to the good here. Most impressive for me has been the way they have defended. Led admirably by their captain Anjana Dung Dung, but they've given away a penalty corner. They need to be careful here. 3-0, if it becomes 3-1, becomes a completely different story. It will give uh, Odisha Nawaltada Hockey Academy all the momentum that they need going into the second half. That's the last thing that Sai Academy need. Better injection needed. And they're going with a single battery this time. It is a better injection. It is Jyoti that has taken matters into her own hand. It's caught a foot on the rebound. And Odisha have recorded their first attempt on goal. It was a good attempt by Jyoti, but unfortunately it was straight at the goalkeeper Pramila Kumari who made no error. She put a confident right foot forward and that was that. Space has opened up in defense. It's a circle entry. It is a good circle entry. That is a good goalkeeping by Suneli Oram. Who's had a good outing. She 
he really cannot be blamed for two goals. The third one was a defensive lapse. Maybe there was a communication error. It's difficult to say from the com box. So two out of the three goals, at the very least, there's not much that Sunil or Ram could have done. Still time to go. A minute and a half in the second quarter. Well, if you're just joining us, Odisha Nawaltada Hockey High Performance Center is taking on Sai Academy in the first semi-final of the first Hockey India Junior Women Academy National Championship 2021. And with just about two quarters gone, Sai Academy are leading them by three goals to zero. It's been a very, very good defensive display by Sai Academy. Offensively, of course, we've seen how dangerous they can be. We've seen how good they can be. But uh, what has been most impressive is how good they have been defensively. That is something that cannot be said of the Odisha Nawaltata Hockey High Performance Center. They have been anything but neat and tidy in defense. Passes have gone astray and uh, the defensive lapses have been one too many. There's still an entire half of hockey to go, so it's not all doom and gloom. There's enough time to make a comeback. What a chance that was. And you can only imagine the pressure that the team would have been under had Poonam Mundu, who's already got a goal, scored another one. It would have been 4-0 and it would have been so, so difficult for Orisha to have come back into this match. There goes the halftime hooter and Sai Academy will feel that they have done their job perfectly. Half the match gone, we are at halftime and Sai Academy are leading Odisha Nawaltata Hockey High Performance Center. Three goals to nothing. The Academy in their group, they beat both of them, took a perfect six points. Sai Academy were in uh, Pool D along with Jai Bharat Hockey Academy and Ghuman Hera Risers Academy and Round Glass Punjab Hockey Club Academy. It was a perfect group stage for them as well. They won all their three games, have qualified for the semi-final with nine points. So both the teams unbeaten so far and good attacking start here by Odisha. Number two. Nikita Topo on the ball, plays it back to number 34, Angela Topo. Angela Topo is looking for a circle entry, gets a circle entry. And uh, something that has been the feature of the game so far has been the way that Sai Academy have defended. They've been excellent, they've been cool, they've been composed. Mistakes have been few and far between. And you really feel that to shake up this defense and to cause confusion in it will take a monumental attacking effort from Orisha Nawaltada Hockey High Performance Center. If there's any team that can do it though, it is them. They are the home team. They know these conditions better than any team here at the tournament. Which is why this performance by Sai is even more creditable. They really have been up against it. They've been up against the favorites and they have been superb. What a save. That is a superb save by Suneli Oram. Magnificent goalkeeping. She anticipated that pass and was off her line in a flash. And she needed to be. Still searching, still probing for that fourth goal, uh, Sai Academy.
this is of course the first year with the changed hockey india format uh, it's not the only feature that uh, there will be three types of nationals one player one national championship is also a feature if you play in one national you cannot play in another that has obviously been done to increase the player pool it's a great initiative by hockey india Looking to get the ball out of defense is Odisha. They have been unable to do so. They were looking to get the ball to Jyoti. That has not happened. Here comes the circle entry. It's an attempt on goal. Suneli Oram with a confident left palm. So far keeping it off. Here's another chance and it is a goal. Another defensive lapse. And there's been another goal. It is the fourth goal for Sai. Just like in the second quarter, Odisha has started brightly, but uh, with one attack, it is uh, Sai that have got the most important statistic ticking. That is the goal. There are four goals to the good. And... Uh, They've been getting the goals at regular intervals. Every time you feel that Odisha will stage a comeback, will make a comeback. Sai have just been so efficient in front of goal. Sanjana Horo it was who got the fourth. Only two penalty corners for Odisha Naval Tata Hockey Academy here. Need to create more. Need to create more circle entries and when they do, they need to make more. Anjana Dung Dung. She's been the pillar. She's been a rock in the defense for Sai Academy. That's well tackled by Nikita Topo. Nikita Topo looks to play it forward straight away. Makes an error. It's these little, little errors. These small errors all over the pitch that have been such an obstruction in a free-flowing form of hockey that Odisha would have liked to have played. And usually do play as well. Sai comfortably spreading the ball from one side to the other. It's a free-flowing move here. Will it result in something for Sai? Got the ball in the circle, but uh, Nikita Topo will look to clear the lines for Odisha Hockey Academy. That's a good ball forward, but uh, not trapped very well. Prini Kandir on the left has been very effective for Sai Academy. And on the ball, Anisha Dung Dung does ever so well. Prini Kandir. Caught a foot. Jyoti Chhatri, the captain. Trying to go it alone as she has done all game. But it has not proven to be an effective tactic. Puna Mundu has successfully created a foul. What a chance. This is circle entry. But uh, that ball wasn't quite meant for Sanjana Horo. Sai Academy. They are not done here. They are looking for another goal to put this game assuredly beyond the reach of Odisha Naval Tata Hockey Academy. Remember, it is a semi-final. So, if by any chance scores are level at the end of uh, regulation time, we will have a shootout. It is a knockout format here. You do not get a second chance. The finals will be played tomorrow evening at uh, 
six thirty p.m. Penalty corner. They need a goal here. Here is the third penalty corner for Odisha Navaltada Hockey High Performance Center. They have not got a single goal. The two penalty corners before this, the first was faulty. First was faulty injection. The second, it was a good attempt on goal by Jyoti Chhatri, but she was thwarted by Pramila Kumari. They need a good injection. They need a perfect halt. They need this variation going. They have not dwelled too much on what kind of an operation they are going to have here, but. Uh, you just feel as if they have thought about this practice. It's a variation. They need a goal. And it will be another penalty corner. Excellent. That was a very well-worked routine, apart from the fact that it did not result in a goal. They've got another penalty corner. And if they are to set things right, they have to start now. Just about 22 minutes in totality to go in this match. And Odisha Navaltada Hockey Academy need a goal. Will it be another penalty corner? Jyoti Chatri. It's crossing. Foul has gone and another chance has gone a begging. Things have just not gone their way this morning for Odisha. And it could be dangerous. Here's another chance for Sai. It's an attempt on goal. But it's not on target. It was hit really Hard by Mary Kandulana. I beg your pardon by Puna Mundu, but uh, it's uh, not trouble the goalkeeper at all. It's been all Sai Academy throughout this match. They have been in excellent form. The way they've kept the ball, the composure they've shown on it. Here's an attack coming in for Risha Navaltada Hockey High Performance Center. The ball has been played forward. It has been kept in. This could be dangerous. Looking for a circle entry. Good bit of skill. Looking for a foot. Unfortunately, couldn't find one. And Sai are now looking to spring a counter-attack. They've got an overload in defense. What a ball that is. Along with the captain, Jyoti Chhatri, the best player on the pitch. For Odisha Navaltada Hockey High Performance Center has been their goalkeeper, Suneli Oram. This is one area of the pitch where uh, Sai Academy have dominated from the first quarter to now, and that is the midfield. They have been excellent in midfield. Here's a circle entry for Sai Academy. This could be dangerous. It is a penalty corner. It's a rather surprising statistic, but uh, for all their defensive and offensive domination, Sai Academy have created only two penalty corners. This being the second. On the flip side, of course, you can argue that... Uh, there are four goals to the good here, and uh, when you get so many field goals, you really don't need to depend on your penalty corner routine. Anyhow, they're going with two batteries. Anjana Dung Dung, the captain, is on the second battery. It goes to the first battery. I think someone has broken early. Yes, that has been the issue, and... Uh, Odisha Navaltada Hockey High Performance Center will have to defend. Will one defender less? Problems keep rising. Will they be able to successfully defend this penalty corner? It's a variation. It is well tackled. This is very good penalty corner defense. Jyoti Chhatri, once again, it was the first rusher on that PC. Under five minutes to go then in the third quarter. And Sai Academy have looked assured of their performance and are looking assured of a result here. Ball's gone out of play. Sai Academy have, uh, on that occasion, not been able to create anything out of their pressure. This is something Odisha have tried 
all morning and sometimes it has come off sometimes it has not playing those long balls bypassing those lines of uh, sai academy but this is what happens then once you've got the ball in the offensive third there are not a lot of options to look for it takes time for your midfielders and your defenders to join in an attack and the team sort of looks disjointed Nikita Topo looking at options plays it in the center and uh, Mary Kandulani should have done better here's a counter attack coming from Sai Academy number 15 plays it wide Pirni Kandir the attacking prowess of Sai Academy is seriously impressive ball still alive advantage has been played on and it's finally gone over the line neha now looking at options plays it down the line but easily cut off by the side defender who is in turn looking at options plays it rather easily into midfield has got a foot advantage has been played this is good play here anisha dung dung the captain looks to go it alone it's fallen kindly for sai academy looking for a circle entry they've got a circle entry looking for a penalty corner it's still alive it's not done and finally with some help from the goalkeeper suneli oram who despite conceding four goals has had a very good game in goal for isha navaltara hockey high performance center Thwarted another attack by Sai Academy. Had numbers in midfield there. They have won the ball back. To play a forward pass, Jyoti Chhatra loses out. We know technically how good the Odisha Naval Tata Hockey Academy players are, but you've seen time and again. very good players even such as jyoti who have uh, earned in their trapping in their halting in basic hockey skills that uh, has to be down to nerves that has to be down to a certain sort of nervousness of course it is a uh, a superb world class setup here at the kalinga stadium where odisha naval tata hockey high performance center is based out of they've got nutritionists working with uh, boys and girls they've got physios strength and conditioning coaches they've got even mental trainers to look after the psychological need of their players and comes another attack and suneli oram has thwarted them once again she's taken up her position superbly all game created a chance there sai academy it was a one on one opportunity but suneli oram was not found wanting as she has not been found wanting all game needs to play this forward taking a lot of time it has come forward here's a good opportunity it's a circle entry will it be an attempt on goal yes it will be but it is not an attempt on target Neha Lakra one of the players we had pointed out early on in this game a player to look forward to just like many others in the Odisha colors she has not been very effective there's still time in this quarter they need to hurry up here get the ball into the circle unable to do so and there goes the hooter for the third quarter It is a quarter much like the first two that belongs to Sai Academy. They lead Odisha Naval Tata Hockey High Performance Center at the end of the third quarter by four goals to nothing. And you really do feel that in these conditions which are getting warmer the temperature is rising it's a warm morning here. If Orisha Naval Tata Hockey High Performance Center is to stage a comeback it will have to be a monumental effort on their behalf. Well they've got 15 minutes to do it and at the end of that if we are level we do go into a penalty shootout. It is the semi-final 
you lose, you're out. Which of these two teams will be the first team to make it to the final of the first Hockey India Junior Women Academy National Championships 2021? It's being hosted here at the Kalinga Stadium, which in recent years has hosted a World Cup. It has hosted Champions Trophy. It has hosted world-class tournaments. It will be hosting another World Cup. Here's another chance for Isha Naldara Hockey Academy, but they've not been able to make Sai Academy pay. And they are coming with a quick break. It is... A circle entry for Sai. They've got a chance. And it's a goal. It's another defensive lapse for Disha Nawaltata. Hockey High Performance Center has cost them another goal. It's 5-0 now. And the lead has just gotten bigger for Sai Academy. Just a warning there for the Sai player number seven, Pooja Yadav. She's been in good form throughout the tournament for Sai Jyoti Chatri. It's cut out by her counterpart, the captain, Anjana Dungdung, who has been a pillar. Absolute rock in the defense for Sai Academy. She's cut out everything that has come her way. If they are able to keep a clean sheet Sai Academy, a lot of that credit will go to her, Anjana Dungdung. It's a circle entry for Odisha, but uh, nothing quite comes off it. It's another faulty trap and uh, these are what we call in hockey pressure skills. Pressure skills are those that need to be perfect when the player doesn't have time and space. as an attempt on goal, trapping in the penalty circle. Sometimes it's these skills that make all the difference. Look at the way they have kept the hot channel blocked. Not able to get an attempt on goal again, Odisha. And this is something that they will, be have, to, they will have to be watchful of. Spaces opening up in midfield. Sai, with the lead that they have, they will be content to just sit back, absorb all the pressure and just hit Odisha on the break. Just like this. The counter-attack is coming. It is a numerical superiority in offense by Sai. There's a circle entry coming in. Odisha have to be careful. But uh, on that attempt, Puna Mundu couldn't find another teammate. These are dangerous players. Players like Puna Mundu. Sanjana Horo, Prini Kandir have been so effective in attack. Puna Mundu has, of course, got her name on the score sheet. So has Sanjana Horo. She got the fourth goal. Just as the counter attack was building, they have been pulled up for a foul. Odisha can start again. It's a good opportunity for Odisha. Has that caught a foot? No, it has not. It will only be a long corner. Despite the best efforts of Kamla Singh. Jyoti. Goes right. Is a circle entry. It's caught an Odisha foot. Again, pressure skills letting them down. Deflection in the penalty area. Not quite up to the mark. And that really has been the story, unfortunately, for Odisha Nawaltara Hockey High Performance Center this morning. They've just been off the mark. And at any level of sport, when it is a high level of sport, if uh, you're off the mark by a little bit, it gets very, very difficult to win high-pressure games. Sai Academy have just been that much better in every department. From finishing to defending to attacking, their midfield play, their combinations, their plan has worked. It's the final 10 minutes and 
as uh, Odisha keeps throwing players up front, this is what's going to happen. And the space is going to open up in defense, affording more chances to Sai Academy, just like that one. On that occasion, though, Sai was not able to make them pay. Let's come forward now to Nikita Topo, who plays it back to Jyoti. Jyoti has been the best player for Odisha Navaltara Hockey Academy so far. Second best player has been their goalkeeper, Suneli Oram. Anjana Dung Dung looks for a player, doesn't find one. Kamla Singh, Kamla Singh looking for a circle entry. This could be a chance. But uh, still alive. Can they make a penalty corner looking for a foot? Don't find one. Now the counter attack could be underway, but it's not. It's got a back stick, so it will be an Odisha free hit. Just outside the penalty circle, it will be the captain. Jyoti Chhatri, who will be above that, will have to take that again. And a miss pass. Now conditions are really, really difficult. The sun is right above us, and three quarters have been played. We are in the final quarter. There's been a lot of running that has taken place here in this game. It's been a high-paced game, especially that by Sai. Now it is a test of uh, fitness and conditioning. Cost more than 24 hours to go before the final is played. It is only tomorrow evening, not tomorrow morning. So there's plenty of time to rest after this. Before the final tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. will be the third and fourth place match, which starts at 4.30 p.m. We will be getting you live coverage from both the games. Hockey India will be beaming both the games to you live. Because this is not the only offering that we have for you this morning. The second semi-final will be coming up at 9 a.m. It will be Madhya Pradesh Hockey Academy that lost the sub-junior team of which lost the game to Sai Academy yesterday. And they'll be taking on Khalsa Hockey Academy at Amritsar that have been playing some scintillating hockey here at the Kalinga Stadium. So plenty to look forward to. In the second semi-final in Sai Academy, it seems are going to have two teams in the finals. The sub-junior team has already made it, and the junior team is just around seven minutes away from making their journey to the finals as well. So a creditable performance by both the sub-junior and junior team of Sai Academy. This has been very dominant display by them. It's been an assured display. It's been a professional display. Especially the way they have defended. They've kept a clean sheet so far. Only conceded uh, two penalty corners. Anjana Dung Dung has uh, been the star player for them. Just keeping the ball well. They don't need to do anything else. They've got a sizable lead, which uh, looks unlikely that they will surrender now. Hina Bano did not need to play that forward pass. She did. And uh, she surrendered possession. Odisha now coming down the right flank. In for a circle entry, they get a circle entry, but look at that. How about that for defending? They've defended in numbers and they've got the ball away very assuredly. They've not pushed the ball away or hit it away just blindly. They've played the ball out of defense. That takes training, that takes strategy, and that takes tactics. So, well done to Sai Academy, their players, and their coach, Prakhar Patel. A lot of credit to them. Defending is, of course, the dirty work in the game. It's not often that you get credited for defending well. It's the less glamorous part of a hockey and a football match. But it is the important bit. It's often said, attacking will win you games, but it is your defense that will win you championships. And uh, throughout the game, they have been defending so very well. 
less than five minutes to go then and uh, Odisha Naval Tata Hockey High Performance Center needs five goals. The match after this though, Madhya Pradesh Hockey Academy lost out in a cracking game yesterday against Sai Academy in the first semi-final. They will be looking to make amends and have at least one team reach the final. The sub-junior team will be playing in the third and fourth place playoff this evening. Here's an attack. It's a three-on-two situation. It is a dangerous situation. Easy circle entry. Should have received that pass and gotten into the circle. Instead, looks to play it first time and uh, has made an error. They don't need to do anything silly here. Sai Academy just need to keep the ball. They don't need to get any cards or play rough or anything of that sort. They've worked hard in this match. They've got the score line that they wanted. And... Now they need to start thinking of the big one that's coming up tomorrow. Need to conserve their energy already. It's got to be warm out there. It's not easy. Just looking to get the ball into the circle somehow. This is the Orisha High Performance Center. Trying to recycle the ball, get it back into the circle, but uh, defending has been top class from Sai Academy. They've given nothing away in defense. And it will really please the hearts of everyone in the Sai organization that they have not conceded a single goal in a high-pressure game such as the semi-final. They have been stingy in defense. Ball is well spread and it is well received by number five, Anisha Dungdung. Looks to play it forward. The uh, attack is on. This could be dangerous. Is it an attempt on goal? It's a cross and it's the sixth goal for Sai Academy. They've been hungry for more, they've not given up, and they have made Odisha play, pay. As you keep chasing a game, there is always a risk that you will keep spaces open in defense. I think the last touch there was by Kundrak Pamchanu. And uh, they're not done here. They really want to make a big statement. The amount of confidence that they will take from this performance. Going into the final. Cannot be overstated. To win a semi-final, which many consider the marquee clash of any tournament, by six goals to nothing, that's a big statement. And you've done it against the host. You've done it against the home team. It will really fill their hearts with confidence here. Orisha Nawaltata Hockey High Performance Center looking to make something. We are into the last minute. It will be only a long corner. And uh, Pramila Kumari of uh, Sai Academy has been pulled out and she will be replaced by Samiksha Saxena who has just gone in goal for them. Jyoti Chhatri, penalty corner. That is a silly error. The silly error by Pooja Yadav. All she needed to do was be five meters away. She was not. She went into the tackle and she has afforded... Odisha Nawal Tata Hockey High Performance Center with a penalty corner.
will they get a goal in this match? They're going with a single battery. Jyoti Chhatri is over it. The captain. Can she pull one back? Something to hold on to here for the Odisha Navaltada Hockey High Performance Center. It's come to Jyoti. She's, it's an attempt on goal. It's well saved by Samiksha Saxena, who's just come in. So well done to her. She's come in and she's hit the ground running. No errors, no mistakes from her. Jyoti Chhatri looking for options up front. Has gone into the goal, but it has got no touch from any Odisha Naval Tata Hockey Academy player. Looking to spring another one final counter in this game. Successful counter nonetheless. It is Kundrak Pamchanu who has kept the ball so well for Sai Academy, but it has gone over the line. And that probably will be that. There goes the final hooter and celebrations in the Sai Academy camp. Have beaten the host, the home team, Orisha Nawaltata Hockey High Performance Center by six goals to nothing. They have kept a clean sheet and their coach Prakar Patel will be so pleased by their display. They are going into the final tomorrow. They will be in the big match. Odisha Nawaltata Hockey High.